Today I want to show you one of our newest developments. It's the Conslab HV125 air brake trainer. This is absolutely incredible compared to anything else you've ever seen because it's a real driving simulator. We don't just have a board with a bunch of parts bolted to it. And we've chosen different types of systems. So we have a tractor here that's based on a Bendix premium system and we have a trailer that's all Wabco. It's a RSS plus system. So on the tractor we have ABS and traction control. And on the trailer we've got ABS and stability control. Imagine what you would do if you had the truck and the trailer in your classroom. You're gonna start off with firing it up. You're gonna be able to explain to your students the chuff test. We can bring this thing up to speed and we can demonstrate to students all kinds of functionality. Now if we're on ice, like this right rear wheel, and we hit the brake pedal, we can show an ABS event. And we can show the students what happens to that brake chamber as it's being throttled with the modulator valve. Now we're still on ice, so if I hit the gas pedal, if I hit the gas pedal and we're still on ice, what's gonna happen? So if we take a look here, the wheel spins because we're on ice. And the traction control system uses the brakes to slow that wheel down. We have individual screens with individual wheel speed and the wheel speed is not faked or simulated. We're using the real sensor with a real tone wheel with a stepper motor that's going to spin it up to the real speed. Now you notice that we have protectors for each one of the rods coming out of the brake chambers. And you'll also notice that we don't have the slack adjusters on there. This is because for teaching slack adjusters and for teaching how the brake chambers really work, you need to have a load on. So we offer these complete wheel ends, both a front drum, a rear disc, and also we offer a rear drum. And then you can see the real functionality of the slack adjuster, the air brake chamber, the S-cam or the caliper all integrated with a load on it. Now you will also notice that we have components that have thumb nuts and you're going to say, well why do we have thumb nuts on these components? It's because they're removable and we also provide faulty components. So as an instructor you can go in, put in a faulty modulator valve and your students can go through and diagnose the circuit and find a real problem and replace the part. Both the tractor and the trailer have individual fault boxes. Both have dedicated diagnostic connectors so you can connect your scan tool and look at live data and pull codes from either the Wabco computer or the Bendix computer on the tractor. Now for this demo, I'm going to need a little bit of help. Now we're up to full speed. I'm going to do a brake application and Jeff is going to shake that trailer. We can hear that Wabco control unit changing, modulating, modulating the brake applications. Now, this is where the rubber meets the road. This is where you as an instructor, you're going to be interacting with the product. You're able to stand off to the side and allow your students to see everything that you're doing. And this includes everything from where the controls are located all the way down to the pedals. We have the pedals mounted low, but we know that there's going to be times when your students need to see how the pedals work. So we can lift this up so your students and the instructor, you have access to the brake valve while at the same time still able to use it by foot. It's very, very realistic and you get that real feeling of the brake pedal. You can control everything that you need to control from right here from the instructor interface. So we've got um, the PP valves, we've got the trailer brake valve, the ignition switch, we've got access to a Murphy gauge to see if there's any codes or any data in the system. And we've got something here that we haven't talked about before, which is a steady state switch. And this is like teacher's cruise control. Here's an example of how you can create a situation, a scenario, and then lock it in with the steady state. We're stopped, everything's fine, the brakes are off. I'm gonna put the right rear wheel, this one here, on ice. And once I accelerate, it's gonna start applying the brakes to that wheel. Once that's happening, I'm gonna hit the steady state and it will lock it in and now we can talk about it with your students over a long period of time. All I did was lock in the steady state. Now we can see the hold release solenoids being applied.
Now if I remove the steady state, this product can make your life easier as a teacher and allow your students to learn how the system really works, how it drives, how it interacts. To find out more about our products, visit consolab.com or you can find us on Facebook, Twitter or LinkedIn. Thanks for watching.